I'm on my own right now. I've actually been on my own for a little while because Bruce is on the road. He's, uh, he's on the road with his side hustle with the band Fran Moran and the Nervous Rex. Outside of Williams and Ree, he's playing bass with his buddy Troy Ballhofer in his uh, his band called Fran Moran and the Nervous Rex. He's there with uh, Kevin and Carrie, and they've been traveling around the United States, opening for Billy Bob Thornton and the Box Masters. <laughs> He's been out, I guess I've been on my own now for about 10 days. So last night they were in Nashville, so I met up with them in, um, at the city winery. And was, I, I went and picked him up in Columbia at 6.30 in the morning from the bus, because their bus driver needed to sleep. So he was like, come get me. So I picked him up and we spent the day together, which was great, because I hadn't seen him in quite a while. And, uh, so he slept, did laundry. We uh, spent a little personal time together and went and saw the show. Well, I saw the show, he did the show. And we saw a lot of people and had some drinks, hung out, came back here and then took him back to the bus around, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. In the meantime, I did uh, get custody of Kevin Lato's baby his guitar which now i feel like this obligation it's really pretty let's see it i have to find a very very special place for it to live until he gets it i wrapped it up in a blanket because there's no case and i don't want anything to happen to it because god forbid it's in my hands there it is as you can see, the kitchen's a mess. Everything's a mess. I know I had the uh, gals here helping me organize the office and it was great. In the meantime, a lot of things got kind of messed up in the rest of the house. Actually, they already were. And I've been watching all these organizing videos on YouTube and it has helped me. Um, with some of the other rooms and i gotten these great decorating ideas and i've almost finished up with one of the rooms in the front i had to put this extra gate here because these guys have decided to forget any housebreaking rules i don't know if you have any tips for adult dogs who have decided to forget any housebreaking that they ever knew let me know. I It makes me want to cry. What happened? I'm cleaning up after adult dogs peeing in the house. Anyway, that's a whole other video. So this is our front room. Not finished, but so much better than it was. That's my new little sofa. And this is the rug. 
I'll show you something I'll show you. I think I'm either gonna go above the sofa or on either side of the mirror. And I love them. I used to not love them, but now I do because they go with everything in here. Make you dizzy here, huh? And uh, it's very peaceful here. This storage bench holds all of my, my workout stuff, all my yoga and weights and all that. And it's really cool. So very happy with that. So I guess I'm running into a, a bit of a slump, a bit of a, I don't know, not middle-aged slump, a three-quarter age slump. That's assuming I have 25 years left, which would put me at 60, 70, 80, 90, 90. We're assuming I'm gonna live to 90 if this is a three-quarter age slump, but Let's be optimistic. My grandmother lived to be 96, so could happen. Oh, I'm gonna exercise. I signed up for this uh, exercise. So it's sort of a, not exactly a personal trainer. It's kind of a personal trainer. She kind of sets up these exercises for me. And then I look at them on my iPad and she cheers me on in the little corner on uh, pre-recorded. So I've done it uh, three times. That's, the, that's actually a record for me. Three times I've done it. It's called Future. The uh, app is Future. I guess the idea is it's for your future self. First time, first one wasn't so bad. Second one kind of kicked my ass. Well, it kicked my back because it was hard on my back, but you know, I told her about that and kind of uh, worked it out. So today is, I'm stretching. Yeah, that's that's another thing. I'm really bad about exercising. And I used to be, I used to be pretty, I wouldn't say athletic, but I, I exercised a lot. And then that is something I just said, oh, screw it. I just don't feel like it anymore. And so I stopped. And then I'm realizing the repercussions. I'm achy. I'm tired, I don't feel good. So that's the thing I gotta do. Oh, and also I have found that um, after having an MRI done thinking that I had long-term COVID, I've been told by a neurologist that my brain is shrinking. Yes, my brain is shrinking. Not that I'm, it's not gonna lead to Alzheimer's. She was clear on that, but it's, and it's a natural thing that happens, but apparently my brain is shrinking uh, a, a little quicker than people my age. So that explains why my short term, short, see, <laughs> shrinking brain. My short term memory is uh, not what it once was. And I know a lot of people feel that way. They have. Uh, problems with short-term memory after 60, 65. But um, I was noticing that mine was getting worse and that's why I, I talked to the doctor about it. And so when she addressed the issue, I, I was relieved to find out it wasn't that I was just making stuff up. I was imagining it. But I'm also not crazy with the idea that my brain is shrinking. So some of the things that she suggested was be complex, diet and exercise, and uh, don't get old, <laughs> which, okay, I can only uh, do a couple of those things. So I'm, I'm trying to do the exercise as much as I hate it. And uh, I'm attempting the diet part, which is, uh, eh, I'm trying. Um, oh yeah, and high cholesterol can, can affect brain shrinkage. And uh, so I'm also on medication for that too. Never thought I would have high cholesterol, but there you go, it can happen to anybody. So here we go. I, I'm falling apart. My husband is seven years older than me and he is healthier than I am. 
he is strong. He, well, he had high cholesterol too. So we're both on the same medicine for that. But he can outpace me on a walk really easily. He's out there on the road. He's energetic. He's on the tour bus. He's, he's kicking ass. And I'm at home going, these dogs, these dogs are wearing me out. It's pathetic. Anyway, so I'm gonna do my stretching exercises and I'm gonna see if I can do a little decluttering and try not to be so pathetic. While my husband is out there having fun doing rock and roll stuff. And uh, I'm so proud of him though. <laughs> he would look so great up there on stage, just really kicking it. I mean, he, he does not look his age at all. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. So there we go. I'm dragging my ass around the house today. Bruce is on the road being a rock and roller and uh, don't get much better than that. Have a great day.